Hello and welcome to today's edition of Stories That Actually Matter, but we'll get no media coverage whatsoever. The United Nations Security Council voted to adopt a resolution Friday that drastically cut the delivery of cross-border humanitarian aid to Syria in a diplomatic victory for Russia. The resolution curtailed the number of crossing points for aid deliveries from four to two and cut the year-long mandate for cross-border deliveries to six months. The changes came after Russia, the top ally of Syria dictator Bashar Assad, threatened to veto the resolution altogether before the midnight deadline to renew the aid deliveries. Other permanent members of the Security Council had sought to add a fifth crossing point and extend the mandate for another year, but were forced to back down the face of Russia's veto threat. The resolution passed by an 11 to 0 margin, with the U.S., China, and U.K. all abstaining from the vote. The vote was the result of months of contentious negotiations over the U.N.'s mandate for cross-border aid deliveries to Syria. U.S. Ambassador Kelly Kraft blasted the resolution as watered down and a body blow to the Council's credibility, according to the U.N.'s news agency. So they cut this humanitarian aid to Syria uh, in half. And you're not going to see any of these major networks talk about it. You're not going to see any of them discuss it. And, and I've tried to make the point before that when we get involved with other countries, I mentioned that the U.S. has troops in over 100 different countries. Um, if it's in a productive way, I have no problem with it, and neither do the people who live there. If Russia, Iraq, Afghanistan, any country, Germany, you you, you name it, but any country came over here and said, you know what, we're going to spend a billion dollars feeding the homeless and delivering humanitarian aid, whatever that may mean, uh, to the U.S. Americans would love those countries if they did that. Uh, when you cut humanitarian aid, you're not messing with Assad. You're not sticking it to their government. You're trying to hurt the people so they can feel like, you know, oh man, we got to get rid of Assad because we get rid of him. The U.S. will be our friend again. And Russia and uh, China and all these other places that either voted to cut our aid or abstain from helping us uh, are, are going to be so uh, right with us again. Well, no. It's all about trying to force uh, uh, internal struggle or conflict within a region and getting the people to, you know, just us thinking that we're actually doing something to make the people come over to our side when we're, we're pissing them off because we were being helpful and then we took it away from them like they were little kids and we had the, uh, the orange boxes. Or, you know, we, we were the teacher and they were the little kid that we took the candy away from. Except in this case, it's people's lives that we're playing with for political gain. So... Very serious story that will be ignored because the media in the U.S. doesn't care.